This week's Parsha, Parsha Shlach, we know the spies were sent out to spy the land of Israel, and they came back with the Bataris, they came back with a, a negative report, and they reported that it was an Eretz Ochelet Yoshveha. And God did them the greatest favor of all, that instead of seeing these Lilliputian spies spying out the land, and as you all know, people don't like spies. Think about Jonathan Pollard. Think about Ethel and, I think, Harry Rosenberg, who were, uh, who were uh, put to death. People don't like spies. And uh, so therefore, they did not want to see spies in the land, so God did them the greatest favor. Instead of them being aware of these little spies going through the land, they had them burying their dead in the cemeteries or in the graveyard all day long. Instead of appreciating, they came back with this debat Eretz. It's a land which devours its inhabitants. Eretz ochelat yoshveha. Yoshveha from the word to sit, a resident. So the same Kuban that Eretz is indeed a land which is ochelat yoshveha. Eretz Yoshveha means constant, dynamic, perpetual ascent. If you merely vegetate, if you shave, you descend. Because this land cannot tolerate mere vegetation. It's real demands going up, and it's ochel It devours those that vegetate and stay in the same plane. They always ascend. Good Shabbos.